Okay, so um, <clears throat> I said last week, people asked to do uh, a video on Hikili. Um, now, I sort of have done one before. I have got a, uh, uh, a guide, one of my 6.2 retribution guides is on add-ons and macros, and it does include Hikili. And I do sort of go through how I did it. Um, but what I'm going to just do here is I'm just going to go through sort of everything I do. I'm going to do it in real time as well, so not just doing a few videos and then trying to edit it over later. So if I waffle a bit, if I do too much waffle, I'll probably try and cut it out. Um, now, I've actually been helped in this by the fact my guild collapsed. So um, I've moved, so I've moved server, and so everything's reset. So Achilles all here in all its misplaced glory. So this isn't how I'm going to want it set out when I'm finished with it. So I'm just going to do, I'm just going to go through the process that I go through um, to change settings. Now, of course, some of the settings I have may not be best for you. So I'll try and explain them as I go along as well, as well as I can. I'm not saying I am a huge expert on all the settings, obviously, uh, well enough to be able to do it myself. So I'm just going to go down the tabs and, and we'll make some changes and then hopefully you can see from there. You can always ask some questions on the video if anything is at all unclear. Um, there is also a forum post uh, from the author of this add-on where they do answer questions. They are pretty good at getting back to people with questions. I'll post a link to it in the uh, comments below. So you can always click on that if there's anything that I've not been able to help with that you still need help on. So <clears throat> onto the general tab. First of all, you will want to move things around. Um, so it's usually like locked here. Um, so you'll want to unlock it so that you can move it to where you want it. Uh, but that's something I'm going to do a bit later. Now, Clash, this is uh, one of the trickier things to get right. And the thing is, I can't... If there was a number that's best for everyone, it would be set on that as default. Now, what a Clash is, what this uh, rotation helper does is it sort of works out what things are going to be off cooldown and when. Now, sometimes you're going to have two abilities off cooldown at roughly the same time but one just a shade ahead of the other. Now let's take Judgment and Crusader Strike as examples of um, Holy Power Generators. Now, <clears throat> Crusader Strike is the preferred Holy Power Generator, especially during Avenging Wrath, but at all times it is the highest priority. But if Hakili says, well, Judgment's going to come off cooldown first, so you should use that one first, then use Crusader Strike. Um, if it's only like 0.1 seconds or something like that, actually, you're better off wait. I mean, 0.1 seconds is no time to wait anyway. It's less than your react natural reaction time anyway. You actually prefer it to say, actually, no, what? Prioritize Crusader Strike. Because by the time I'm ready to use it, it will be ready. Because, you know, you've got reaction times, you've got latency in the game, and things like that to consider. Um, so what this will be, if, if let's say I set this to 0.2, as an example, which I'm going to do. Um, <clears throat> what it'll mean is if two abilities are going to come off cooldown at roughly the same time but maybe 0.1 seconds ahead uh, difference rather anything up to 0.2 seconds and it will favour the highest priority out of those ones even if it's not necessarily the first one that's going to come off cooldown now the reason why there's no set number for this is you just have to try it out what you have to do is just set it to something um, and just you know, go on the train dummy or something like that and just refine. If you see anything not quite happening as you'd expect it, let's say it's telling you to use Judgment, and you know Crusader Strike is actually ready, um, then maybe just increase this a little bit, okay? But don't just go straight mad to something like this because if you go straight up to 0.5, then you're going to find yourself um, being told to use Crusader Strike and you're spamming it and it's not working because, of course, it's not. It's not off cooldown yet. Um, and you could have used something else in its place. So you don't want it too high, you don't want it too low. Uh, so there is a process of trial and error with this. And I'm sorry that you just have to do that. Uh, but point two is, is a reasonable one to go for. There are some refined, more refined clash settings a bit later, which I'll go through as well. Target cat, I, I don't even care about that. Uh, this is more for the sort of AoE thing, I think. Um, I'm not that bothered. I tend to put it on four anyway, because I consider an AoE situation four mobs. But I'm, I'm not that bothered about that. Now, engine settings, updates here. Obviously, the more updates a second it does, um, the, the better it is predicting what you're going to be using next. So, obviously, increasing this is good, but also more demanding on your CPU. So, how good is your computer, basically? I'm just going to bring it up. F 15 seems to work okay for me. Um, so, I, I don't usually have any problems with this. 
Um, but just just see how it goes. If you feel that the add-on's slowing you down, you might have to reduce it. If you feel it's absolutely fine, then bung it up, all the rest of it. So that's that's the sort of first page there. Um, toggles. I'm, I'm getting rid of everything. I'll leave that. That's nothing to do with us. Hardcasts. We, Paladins don't have hardcasts, um, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, this is on by default show interrupts. Not very good for raiding. Uh, the reason being that in a raid, you usually, when there's interrupts to be done, there's usually an interrupt rotation. What this does is every time your target casts something that is interruptible, it tells you to use rebuke. Now, if it's not your turn to interrupt, that's just a pain in the ass. Um, the other thing is it might not even be your target you've got to interrupt anyway. So it's of no use to you and actually uh, a hindrance. So for raiding purposes, get rid of that completely. Uh, maybe this is useful for you in a PvP situation or just solo type stuff. Um, I don't, I'm don't. i not interested in it showing potions for me. I, other thing on cooldowns, I, I track all this separately myself. Uh, using tell me when and again you could check out that video on uh, add-ons and macros which I'll link as well but it is in the same playlist as this um, other things switch type now it has different modes it has single target mode and, and clean mode and AOE mode um, I don't want it to, to, to do that what it'll do is basically uh, like at, at, a no, at a time when it would tell you to use crusader strike if it detects that there's a load of mobs around you it will tell you to use Hammer the Righteous instead, because that's what you do with enough mobs up, four or five mobs up. Um, I don't need it to do that. I just find that, I, I prefer it didn't do that. So I'm just going to say manual uh, and current mode single target. Just have the single target rotation. I understand that um, in an AOE situation that I will use um, Hammer of the Righteous at certain times, that I'll switch to Seal of the Righteous, that... You know, exorcism jumps up a bit in priority, maybe a bit above judgment with enough mobs up, all the rest of it. I can do that myself. If you prefer it to switch for you, then keep it on auto, okay? But but this so this is just for me. I, I don't want it mucking about. Alright. Class settings, tier 90 talents. Again, it's sort of it, like if you've got execution sentence and it's off cooldown, it'll tell you to use it. No. Um you don't always want to use it. Bang on cooldown, sometimes you need to delay it a little bit. Um, I track it elsewhere as well, so I don't need this to tell me when it's ready. So I untick this because it's not part of my standard rotation. I use it when it's best to use it, which is as far as I can off cooldown, of course. But sometimes it is delayed a bit. And again, anything that you might delay a bit, you don't ideally want in here. Mitigate this is more for prop paladins, leave that alone. I'm only interested in retribution for this. Now, more clashes here. Um, I am going to put up slightly higher clashes than my general one for two key abilities. Hammer of Wrath, I'll put up 0.3. Um, reason being that... Oh dear, never mind. Da, da, da. Thank you. Uh, it's ultra important, same with Crusader Strike, that during Avenging Wrath, that these are being favoured. That Crusader Strike, Hammer of Wrath first of all, and then Crusader Strike are the holy power generators you are favoring um super important that so and what this any clashes you put in here by the way override this one okay um so these override it so what we're basically saying is point two in general and i'm saying point three for those specific ones because i will i will wait a little bit extra for those and again these might need tweaking let's say you're in a situation and you're doing avenging wrath and you're trying it out and you think to yourself well Actually, Hammer of Wrath, if I'd have just waited that little fraction of a second more, I could have had Hammer of Wrath. I might have had an extra Hammer of Wrath out the whole sequence. Maybe you want to increase it a little bit. But it's the usual thing. You don't want to increase it too much. Because from the same reason I said before. Okay. Mitigation. Not This is all for prop. Not interested in that. Notifications. Um, no. <laughs> I don't need it showing me things. Uh, this is where it flashes up telling you things. I don't want those. You could try it out yourself. Again, just try these out. Click them on. Um, and then try if, if there's something you don't like, some information you don't like, go through these and see which one to take off. Displays. I don't. Is there anything in here? Ret primary. Obviously, we need this. Ah, now this is the thing. Um, so at the moment, I'm just going to close this moment. So it's, it's always showing. 
obviously I don't want it always showing. I don't need it showing. I'm stood still. Why do I need it showing at the moment? So what I'm going to do slash Achille. Oops. I don't want it to turn that decision. I, I want it when I've got a target. Um, and it's no disadvantage to be showing all the time when it's in combat as well. Um, but even not in combat, you know, with a target, it's fine. I'll, I'll talk, so I click it on those two. Um, PVP visibility, same sort of thing. I don't PVP anyway, but I'll just for tidiness set that up. Okay, so that should be fine. UI and style. Now, here we here's the thing. Icon showing. So, again, I'm just going to close it a minute. So we can see it's showing, um, showing the AOE one for some reason. I'm going to... Hopefully when I've all finished it, it'll put that back. It's taking the single target one off me. But we can see here, it shows you what to cast next and the next three things in sequence. Now it is good to know what's coming up, um, but you don't necessarily need to know the next three things coming up. And the more things there are here, again, the more demands it is making on your machine. So I'm gonna put that down to three. You might even be fine with two. And of course you can change the size of the icons and all the rest of it. Um, you know, you can make your primary icon a bit bigger and maybe these ones a bit smaller. So I might change that to say 25. Um, so more emphasis on the on the one to use right now. You can change the fonts. You can ch change all sorts of things in here. Have a good old play about in here. Um, but that I would certainly not suggest having four here. You can have 10 if you want. That'd be stupid. Um, I would say two or three. I, I, I'm, I quite like three. Um, oh. Not do not need that pre combat. No, I don't want that on. Not bothered about that. Again, just try it if you want it on. It's sort of telling you sort of what to go through or what to sort of use to begin with. Um, that's fine, I think. Now the ret AOE. Don't want what that is enabled primary. I've got rid of the. AOE. I don't want the AOE on um, at all. So I've just completely not enabled that. Oh, I know what happened before. Um, right, so it's gone now because I'm not... But if I, ah, target something, there we go. So we've got the primary one there. The AOE one doesn't appear at all, okay? So that's good. Um, right then. So I've got rid of the AOE. Prot, I suppose that prot, I'll do the same thing. I'll get rid of the AOE. Um, I'll fiddle about with the prot one later because I'm not that bothered about that now. And... That should be that for displays. Action lists. Now, again, pre-combat, I'm not interested in that. You might like it. Just try it out. Uh, but I'm certainly getting rid of that. Uh, now, this defaults up. Now, anything that's in here that you don't want it telling you about, you can just get rid of individually. Um, but I'm just going to get rid of the old lot. So single, this is the one I want. I get rid of cleave. Get rid of cleave. Get rid of everything, apart from the single target rotation. For me personally, again, you keep in what you want. Try it out. If it's you know if it's not quite what you want, go in and change some settings. And again, you just check through. If there's anything here you didn't want it telling you to use, um, then you can just say no thanks, don't use that. Um, and that's all you have to do for that. So we've got rid of that. Prots, I'll do the same sort of thing later on. I'm just going to check in default, actually, because there's something. I've got an idea. Now I'm going to keep this on. I'm just going to try it out, um, because I think that's everything now. I'm just going to see what it's like. So if I... I haven't done all my macros yet as well, I've just noticed. Um, but never mind, we'll just... Let's just... Uh... Oh no, that's not. I wanted to try something with Seraphim. I got Seraphim. Oh, just wait till I'm out of combat. Notice it's still up, even though I'm not targeting anything. I'm in combat, so it's still staying up. So as soon as that goes, I know I'm out of combat and I can muck about. Hmm. All these are by Tell Me Whens, by the way. So it's only these three icons that are to do with Hikili. Come on, 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 come on. Maybe it'll let me do it in combat. No, it won't. Ah, oh. 
<sighs> Aha. Whoops. Right. Oh, what? do you know what? I'm, I'm such an idiot. I'm trying to change something with talent. Right, Seraphim. Let's just try this. Right, so you can see that I know after Crusader Strike, I can use Seraph. I'm just going to execution sentence as well. Obviously, we wouldn't actually do that as a startup sequence these days. In the days of rings being popped on the pull, but I just want to see how well it's integrating. So for me, now one thing this is interesting. Watch that. I'm just going to go along here. What? Keep an eye on this icon here. It's my empowered divine storm. Flash up there. It, you'll notice it, it's. I'm just going to wait for another one as well. Um, I have a bit of an issue with this in that sometimes it it allows Empowered Divine Storm to just fade away without being used. Um, now there was an update today. In theory, it might have sorted that out, which is why I'm going to I'm not going to just do this loads of times because. A lot of the time it will tell me to use it because there'll be a bit of free space. But sometimes when you, when there's loads of stuff to do, especially during Avenging Wrath, so I'm just going to put Avenging Wrath now, see if I get an Empowered Divine Storm. It sort of places it into like almost last on the priority list and it, it really shouldn't be if it's going to run out. Um, and it was noted a long time ago and, and nothing's been done, I mean a long time ago. So it's not what I'm expecting to be fixed straight away. But that's why I just use nothing. I mean, I just tell me when to notify me of other things. I don't rely on Hikili as the only thing. Because uh, the other things I want to know as well that Hikili won't tell me very elegantly. Uh, you notice just out of sequence that I've used Avenging Wrath. Uh, sorry, Hammer of Wrath. Uh, don't care if the holy power it should generate is going to waste. Because, quite frankly, Hammer of Wrath does enough damage. And my Avenging Wrath is about to wear out. So there are, a few, you, you don't follow it blindly, it's any rotation system you have at all, and it doesn't matter whether you use weak auras or this or CLC rep, you've, you've got to sort of be aware of your rotation because every now and then, just sometimes, it doesn't, um, doesn't play ball. And it's mostly okay, it will do you okay for a while, but you must be a bit aware. It's a bit like using a sat nav when you're driving around in a car, um, you've just got to pay attention to the road as well. There was an issue, wasn't there? What was this sat, it was sat in America or something like that? Where it was directing people. Uh, here we go, here we go. Oh, he's telling me to use it just at the last second. It might have improved it. Maybe that's the change, or one of the changes. Yeah, and it was directing people onto airport runways because there's some problem with the maps loaded into this sat nav. Um, but again, shouldn't be any excuse for the drivers if they're paying attention to the road and not just follow, blindly following that. Same thing here. All right, it's mostly absolutely fine for you. But in a raid situation, you're not attacking a training dummy. There's changing situations, changing numbers of mobs. And uh, you need to think for yourself and be aware of what you're facing. Is. What this is helpful for is letting you know what is about to come off cooldown. Uh, it is not for telling you what to press next as such. Okay. Um, but see how you get on with that. Go through those options yourself. You may not pick the same options that I did. Uh, I'm happy enough with that at the moment, actually. Uh, that's working quite well for me. So those clash values look okay at the moment. Obviously, you need to try it out in a raid situation. So uh, when I do some raiding, I'll try it out and I might refine it and change it. But again, those values, I mean, I can show you again, but they may not be the ones that... Uh, in combat, run away, run away, run away, run away. Um, oh, good they may not be the ones that are best for you. So as I say, my general one, I've put point 0.2 on, and point 0.3 for Hammer of Wrath and Crusader Strikes. Just, just, I'll wait a little bit longer in Avenging Wrath so that I, I get the maximum number of those out as well. Um, but yeah, see how you get on. Let me know how you get on. Uh, if there's anything else, as I say, I'm going to link the forum where you've got direct access to the author of this um, in the comments as well as the video I, I did on add-ons and macros in general and uh, let me know what you think.